I have 10 movie lines and they're really classic movies, very traditional movies. And I... <laughs> Is this going to be multiple choice? No. You have to make it multiple choice because I'm going to bomb this. Yay Networks. Hey, guys. Episode 39. Lawson has strep throat again, wow, you guys. Jump right in. Yeah, I am. I jump right in it every single time. I... His school called me yesterday. I was in the middle of doing something, and they were like, Lawson has 101 fever. You need to come get him. I went and picked him up. He was so hot. Um, it's kind of like we got a normal re- routine because it's every six weeks when every six weeks he's sick. And yeah. it's it's just it's become ridiculous. So I got home, called the pediatrician's office, and was like, listen, guys, we got you the tonsils. They referred me to an ENT. Yeah, because yeah. right now everyone at home is like, before you said that, they're like, I think that kid's tonsils need to be out. Oh, I'm sure. You know, because that's what everybody That's what people me. are writing me. Every, and everyone I talk to, people at my work, adults, people with children are like, you got, camera guys were like, dude, I got my tonsils out. It was the best thing ever. Like, I was scared because I'm I'm scared because Lawson's seven and he's little and I'm scared to like put him on. that's what we were waiting yeah. on. And but I mean, the, it's the best for him. With the pediatrician, he told us, he said, just wait. Um, we'll start 2024 over and let's just see how, like how many times he gets sick. And because there's a number, like if you get it seven times within a year, you have to, um, seven times. I mean, we're at the ridiculous was five times last year. And what happens is he gets it. I'm up taking care. I'm so I look like crap today. I'm really tired because I was up with him and going kind of not switching gears, but like last night I was in this deep sleep and I was out and I heard, I woke up because he was crying for me and he was in the bathroom, hunched over the toilet, said he was, had to vomit and was really worked up and really upset. And it's just something about a mom and I'm the same way. I was like, okay, it was like, I was a doctor. I'm like, okay, Lawson, how are you feeling? Okay. What's going on? Cause I was still waking up. And I know that because I was up too. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, he doesn't want me. He wants you. So I'm like, all right. I Jeff got- does what normal dads do. You go back to bed. <laughs> I did. I, I I'm like, how long do I have to stay in here before I could just go back to bed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I got, like, a, I have a routine. He was really hot. And um, I got him rags. And he loves when I put the rag on his forehead, put a rag on his chest. And then my hands, I get them wet, and I rub his shoulders. He's like, oh, that feels good. And then I'm like, okay, do you want me to put on calming music? And we put on, um, it sounded like a creek, you know? Oh, and yeah. um, I go, close your eyes, just breathe, babe. Nothing is wrong. Here's some medicine. Gave him some medicine. And then he totally calmed down. I was like, okay, are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. And it probably was anxiety. He just doesn't know it's anxiety. Yeah, because he got himself right so worked up but it's like there's something about your mom i still in that way especially after i had the boys really with lawson because it was my first all i wanted was my mom i was so nervous about having a baby and not knowing what to do i wanted my mom there to take over everything because she would take my worries away you know you're, so you're not so i come from family with all boys cousins boys everybody's boys we have one girl cousin but uh all i know is like boys So you're not like a daddy's girl. You still go to your mom? Because I know boys go to their mom, right? And I know the boys, our boys love you. I go to my dad for other things. Like my mom, it's it's just different. I don't know. Like my dad, you think he's going to know how to take care of the baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. My mom knows that. My dad, I go to him about finances, about money, about like things I should do. Things like that. That's kind of what I go to my dad about advice. Or if I have a question about something that's kind of my dad, I go to him. All right. No, I was just asking. But I think everyone wants their mom. Always. Yeah. I I get it. I get it. You still want your mom. Of course. I love Jeff's always like, mama. Yeah, I I do. I think, yeah, I don't know. I I think a mother is just comforting in like human nature, animal kingdom, everything. You know, Mm -hmm. the mothers where people go. I get it. I've learned to accept it is, but um, like I said, we're going, 
Um, I had a trip planned to go back home and then a beach trip, but I canceled all that today because the appointment, I can't get Lawson until around that appointment time. So Lawson's our first priority. We got to get that taken care of first. I can go to the yeah, beach Yeah, and we're time. feeding, like, uh, people out there, like, maybe you're not feeding him right and doing all that stuff. We're, we try to have him eat healthy and do healthy things, but it's just, I think it's the tonsils. Because probably people, you ever see that show? Again, I'm going to get off track here, but I watched the murder show where they were putting, like, antifreeze in, uh, like, uh, uh, in the family's, like, Coca-Cola and the Who fa- was? Dude, I watched this one. I can't oh, remember God. what it is so because great. I watched the weirdest stuff. But this one family, the I don't even. I think they killed three of them. There was like three members or two members they killed. I think they killed the father. Then they killed the brother. Then they killed. They tried to kill the sister, but she lived. And it was the mom and the other sister that they found out they were giving everybody antifreeze. Did you taste that? I I guess not. And they would give them, and they would poison them, and they po- poison their whole family. So finally, the cops were like, "Dude, this one, this one's in a hospital, about to die. Three of your family members died, and they were they were nuts. They're like, they were driving me crazy. So we what just thought it'd be motive? better th- that they were driving them crazy. And they're like, we thought we'd be better if they were just dead, like the mom and the sister. And it, it was not maybe it was interrogation raw. Maybe that was it because they show them interrogating." Like the mother and then the other sister. I feel like I've heard something yeah. similar. Did you see that one? No, no, no. I don't uh, even know what it's on. I probably should have. I did just popped in my head. I, I think it was. Uh, the what? point is, we're not putting any freezing Lawson's cokes. <laughs> I don't think anybody was even thinking that. But well, that's what I thanks for of. making us look like suspects. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I ran myself out on the podcast. No. Um. There is. There was something a story similar to that. I feel like it might have been Dateline. It was either a husband that. No. Was that what that you know what I'm Jerry talking about? Colorado. Like a dentist was poisoning his wife or something. No, this something. is a different one. I can't, I don't know. There There's so something. many. There's so many. It's, there was uh, it's a story it's unbelievable. I just saw on Instagram scrolling. Some boy wanted to see what it was like to kill somebody, and the mom found um a human head and hands in the closet, and she called the police and she was crying. And she's like, Oh my god, there's there's a head in the closet and the uh, dispatcher goes, a head? She goes, yes, there's a head in my son's closet. And um, he just wanted to see what it felt like. He just killed some random person. Is this always been going on? And Probably. We, it, it just because they didn't, like now we have access to watching all of it. Like, I, I just, I don't know. It's just, people are insane. It, yeah, it's just like um, uh, getting into news topics in New York police officer that was killed recently oh earlier this week yeah Yeah. and the person that killed him had been arrested 20 times and should should have been in prison i think his name is it jonathan diller i want to make sure i get that right i don't think it's jonathan diller yeah and he got shot you know it was a for a parking violation so crazy and the guy shot him and the the mayor of new york said that guy who shot him had over 20 arrests it was for a parking violation. Why so that's how brazen he was, this guy. And this guy has a one-year-old son. That's so sad. So, so, so sad. sad. And he could have been in jail. I don't know. It's just, I, I again, I don't want to get into politics here, but Trump went to go speak on that guy's behalf because the, the story wasn't that well, wasn't out there that much, you know? Was it? I don't think it was. Not a lot of people were talking about it, but we, we talked about it today because Trump was there speaking on that guy's behalf and then people who don't like Trump are like, oh, he's just putting on a show. Meanwhile, Biden, uh, Clinton, and uh, Obama were putting on a thing in New York as well. That That's why we did the story. It's like, but it's like politics can't we, all, it? can't we all agree that someone who has 20 arrests should be in jail and shooting a cop is bad? Isn't that, that's why does it have to be, why, why is it red or blue? Is I it, have no it, idea. You know, It should not be a political thing. It should well, God bless the, that guy's family. Anyways, yeah, for and, real. And then um, going back, because I keep looking at my phone because I wrote down notes. Riley Strain, the boy that was. Oh, your thing the young that we man. talk about every week. Yeah. Uh, in, te- in Nashville, the kid disappeared. Mm-hmm. Right. And y'all keep sending me updates. And his mom and dad ordered like a second autopsy because they, be- they don't believe. 
he was found with his cowboy boots off, his pants off. How? How? So, all right. So, yeah. So, we talked about this a couple of weeks in a row, and they last week they just found them, right? Because that was our podcast last week. They just found them. So now the internet continues, and people are still talking about. They don't think he just. I personally think he like it's unfortunate, and I think I wish. I'm sure everyone wishes it would have went different. If Fred would have would would have left with him after he got kicked out, I think he just was drunk and an accident happened, and he fell in the water and died. You think differently. The internet thinks differently. But cowboy boots. You've never probably even put on a pair of cowboy boots. Cowboy boots are so hard to get on. You got to like push your foot down to get your cowboy boots. But on. maybe he got naked and wanted to jump in the water. I, I just I think there's I think so many cameras too. and so much stuff going on. And I under I totally understand the parents wanting answers and relaunching the investigation because I, I would, would do, do this. I would do the same thing I as a parent. But I it just. I don't know. There might be something, but I just think he was just hammered beyond. They say Nashville, like downtown Nashville, is a little sketchy. It's not like how it used to be. But, I mean, that's, I think, most downtowns, especially when more people start moving there, more crime. Same thing they say about Charlotte, where I grew up. I used to walk around downtown Charlotte drunk all the time. There were only, like, a few bars, and now so many people are moving there that, they said there's more crime, and I think it's just when more people move. Yeah, you know, I think you got to stick together. I I used to like, you know, have some drinks and then just bail, you know. And my buddy Melendez, we used to call it. It's called like an Irish goodbye. We used to do that in Santa Monica. Did you ever hear? I know I would leave all the time. I it did. was like my claim. I would always do that. I would always be like, oh, I'm really I'm drunk. like, I'm enough. I'm yeah. <laughs> yeah, me too. And then I just wouldn't tell anybody. Bye. But, but that's not a good idea. That's not smart. No. It wasn't smart, but I feel like those were different times. I know everybody, as that's so cliche to say, but I feel like it's such different times. I mean, anything could have happened to us, so I'm just saying. Yeah, just Melendez different. used to do it so much every time we went out that every time someone left, we're like, oh my God, did he just pull a Melendez? It just became like... A thing. <laughs> a thing. But sometimes you, if you get to that point, you have to remove yourself well, I think removing yourself is one thing. Like, you know you're on the edge and you want to get out of there and go home or get some food or whatever. Getting kicked out and then nobody leaves with you, they don't know how drunk you are, That's you know? True. So I'm sure whoever his friends were there with him are kicking themselves. Like, dude, this whole thing, you know, there's so many things. There's friend could have went with them. The cop could have stopped him if he sounded more incoherent. If you watch that video, it sounds like, He's like, what's up? And that was the last time anyone saw him. It's so sad. I left in our neighborhood, the clubhouse in our neighborhood. I've been drunk and yeah, that's not well, for for home. women. I'm not saying for women. It's not smart to do ever. You well, shouldn't just, do that. I call my dad. I'm like, hey, I'm drunk walking home. Talk to me on the phone right now. And then it was like snowing, <laughs> but. I knew I got to my point, and I was like, I got to get out of here. I got to get away from people. Like, you know, when you get that certain point of drunk, oh, and you're around totally. I used to do it all the time. You don't really know. Yeah. You're like, I got to get out of here because then they judge you and they say you're weird because <laughs> yeah. you get that. You start doing weird you stuff. You start doing weird things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got to bail. Yeah. And then I, I get too chatty and I start saying too much, and I just got to remove myself from the situation. Um, but um prayers to his family and i hope that they get some answers because if i was his mom i would do the same thing and then um going to p diddy let's talk about p diddy you want to take a little break and come back and really hammer some pd p, p diddy conspiracy we can here i'm gonna do my weight loss update because that's short and then we'll come back and do the okay. p diddy thing balance this out somehow with some positivity because uh, we started with heads and closets and murder and all that <laughs> typical us um if i ever get murdered jeff did it he did it for a life insurance policy. don't say that <laughs> don't say that why because people are disappearing and they're like again we watch another <laughs> show and they're like dude if i get murdered it, i didn't if i if it looks like i killed myself i didn't it was the government remember we just watched that show yeah and then some other guy just said that that Boeing guy supposedly said that, and he's like, "If if oh, I fuck, if I Boeing, did we even talk about that? If I wind up dead, I didn't kill myself." And then we just watched a murder show. So 
if you end up dead, don't you dare say that. <laughs> I didn't do it. Jeff tried to get life insurance policy. Um, <laughs> oh my God, no I did <laughs> Oh my God. You better take care of yourself. <laughs> if he winds up dead, I it was for a life insurance policy. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely got murdered. <laughs> Okay, uh, weight loss update real quick before we take a break. I um been feeling great except for I had to go get my blood work done. When did I go get my blood work done? Wednesday? And I think I work myself up. I think I give myself anxiety. I think I put it in my head. I was fine. I did like a fast and um, it was a lot of blood. And when I was watching her do it, it really hurt this time and I I don't know. I was like, oh God, I feel like nauseous. And when I left, I came home. I was like, had to sit down for a second. And then I went on a walk with retired neighbor. If you follow my Instagram stories, you know, like me and my retired neighbor are like BFF. And we went on a walk and I felt fine. And then kind of later on that day, I started feeling bad again. I don't know if it was the shots. I don't know if it was anxiety or maybe like giving the blood work. Like I said, I worked myself up. But besides that... All good. Still doing the same thing. Um, steps, eating small meals, protein, all that good stuff. And um, I haven't really knock on something, had any bad side effects. I've heard it's like trial and error with these weight loss things. Some I've heard, like Kelly on your show on Daily Boss Live, she's very open about her weight loss journey. She's on semi-glutide and she's doing fantastic on it. I didn't do great. She on, works on her show. She yeah. works on Jeff's show. I... I didn't do well on semi-glutide. Yeah, I think you get to each their own. Yeah. You know, and then what you do that with what you put in your body. Right. You know. And I have, like, again, three months, no alcohol, not drinking. I feel good. I feel like my skin looks better. What, are you down? Better. You want to share if you're down or what? I think I'm down, like, just only four pounds. You look you look good. I think it's just from you not. Your skin looks good. You, you look good. Clear. You look slimmer. You look good. You look slimmer, too, Jeff. I told Jeff that <laughs> you don't have your dad bod, um, but he's, he's, still, he's still under there. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's take a break. And then when we come back, we're going to talk about P. Diddy. All right. Welcome back. Talking about P. Diddy. Ooh, 50 Cent is... is my new source. I go to 50 Cent. And I don't Aubrey know if he's O'Day. a great source, but he's funny. He is funny. Yeah. And Aubrey O'Day. I listen kind of what she, she's been saying for years. Everyone's supposedly been saying. I think. By the way, shout out to Costco hard seltzers. <laughs> what, seltzer? If, if it is true, if it is true that he's doing sex trafficking, I hope he and whoever else is involved goes down. Of course. Are That's you what I hope. I watched that show, that movie. What is the movie? You haven't even seen it yet. I got so oh. mad watching it. It's about sex trafficking. I cried in it. It was so sad. And you just get so yeah. what is it? worked up and mad. And I can't think of the name of it right now. Um, but I hope I hope he's not tra trafficking. No, here's kids. the thing. My take was, and I don't know anything. They're, the conspiracies have gone crazy mm -hmm. you know like through the roof and a lot of people have been saying this has been going on forever and you guys just don't know but it's to the level now where it's like almost the conspiracy compared to like jeffrey epstein they're saying diddy's got cameras in his house that's where the level I of conspiracy goes too. and i'm like what well then why wasn't he arrested because homeland security doesn't come for you Unless there's like some sort of child trafficking. I think that's who is coming for Diddy. If I'm wrong, forgive us. We're not. Sound of Freedom is the name of Sound the movie. Sound of Freedom, that's right. But uh, to not have an arrest, to, Diddy was, again, we're filming this on Friday, so you're listening on Wednesday. But Diddy was at golf like yesterday or, or at Top Golf yesterday in Miami. Like you have all that attention on you, all that press about kids and stuff, and you're at Top Golf. Maybe he's trying to distract people. Like I'm not innocent. How Look is at he me. Not, I'm at top. When ball. you when you raid two of his homes with the force that they did to kind of send the message, how are you do not have an arrest warrant? Like how do you not have enough to arrest someone? Obviously, somebody gave them tips for them to go do that. 
Uh, well, they must have something because they wouldn't do that for nothing. Yeah, and maybe he's playing it off. Like, see, look at me. I'm playing top golf. I'm innocent, and he's spending it that way. He probably, you don't know. He's Diddy. He has all this money. He probably tells people what to do. What he did to, I don't know if they were, were they married or a girlfriend, Cassie? What he did to her yeah. was awful. And of course, her listen, if coming out, not being scared, coming out and speaking against him, that, that was like, like that's the when break. it started. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you hear things about Will Smith now. You hear Again, Cuba Pettit Jr. I don't know what's going on with with everything. I don't know how much are conspiracy because things get so blown out of proportion these around. days. Like even like viral videos that I've had, the conspiracies that people go down a rap once you, once something gets so big that like the whole United States knows or the whole world in Diddy's case. But like, you know, something that goes viral, just the way my hands were in like some of those videos, like my hands, if you're not watching like on YouTube, like, uh, I don't know, you do like a rock star. I don't know, my hand just went like that, like a rock star hand for some reason. So like he's throwing up devil horns to this uh, group that just people are making up wild shit on the internet. And there was like people talk. I'm like, what is that guy talking about? And it's about me. And I'm like, what? Everything was completely wrong the way it happened, you know, like on certain videos. I'm like, people are just crazy. And like once something catches fire, it just spreads. You know? I just feel like Hollywood's kind of going down. It's kind of crumbling. There's that new documentary. We have not watched it yet on Nickelodeon. It's called Quiet on Set. And it. a friend of mine texted me. It was like, you have to watch this. We're watching it. So maybe next week we'll, uh, yeah. we'll talk about it because that makes me sick. And if Diddy did any of those things that they're accusing him, I think this is, again, I I'm for the death penalty. And I think you should murder someone like that if if everyone everything they're saying is true. Just like in, uh, what's that movie you just said? Uh, Sound of Freedom. Yeah, th there's no, for me. If you watch for me, The Sound of Freedom, don't get me you started. would get so I can, mad. I almost don't want to watch Sound of Freedom or that other thing because it, it just, it, it bothers me that bad that I get so fucking pissed off. Yeah. You know? Oh, anything with kids. If you do anything with kids, I mean, I don't know if this is true, but they always say they take care of you. Meaning they in kill jail? you in jail if well, you do something. But they now they segregate them and they put them in their own Why? unit. Why? Kill them. Because if they went into general population, they would get killed. Exactly. So they, they segregate them. Killed. I know. I you, Listen, I don't... You don't mess with kids. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. it's disgusting. So if any of that's true, and I don't know if something will come out uh, in the near future or in the future at all, you know, about Diddy, but uh, if it's true... I'm just kind of sitting back... And watching instead of jumping to conclusions because I felt bad with Kate Middleton right. when everybody was doing the conspiracy Same theories thing. and she was just being quiet because she has cancer. And then I'm like, oh man, I feel bad that I even brought that up on this podcast. And I mean, we weren't saying anything. No, bad, but it's the same it thing. You start feel... making your, when no one addresses it, you start coming up with your own conclusions. Yeah. You know, it's true. And then you just read, and I read stuff all the time. And then I'm like, oh, wow, maybe I never thought of it that way. Oh, Maybe. there's with what? Diddy, like they got his neighbor. There's like I've seen a hundred different people talk about. But then there's he's involved, you know. You know, Amanda Bynes, she was a Nickelodeon. Oh, star that's going back to the Nickelodeon. Time. Yeah, Britney Spears. They've got, I'm not Dude, being, Corey I'm not Feldman, being, right? Is it Feldman? has been saying he's it. been saying he, Charlie Sheen molested him for again allegedly. I don't, I've I always get confused when I'm talking. Because on our television show, like, I really have to watch what I say because you get sued. Yeah. But I don't think we get sued on, well, I'm sure you get sued on his podcast. But anyways, he's been saying about Charlie Sheen forever. That's and out nobody... there on, um, on video. And on he Instagram. said he molested Corey Haynes, too, the other Corey. I saw that on a video. On that, on that uh, set of Lucas, that football movie. You ever see Lucas? No. You didn't? Uh -uh. Corey's a little kid. Yeah, anyways. But that was way back in the day. Well, there's just so much... Just, oh, but I feel like it. Hollywood's getting taken down. Even my friend that works, she works on movies. And she's like, Jordan, it is just since COVID and just everything else going on. She goes, it's a it's so different. But, All right. This has been super depressing. Okay. We're going to switch it up. <laughs> child molestation accusations. and Well, this is all crazy things going on in the world right now.
All right. We have to get back to it. Okay. Well, okay. This was something I wanted to talk about. And this is relatable to all the moms out there. The other night, okay, I'm switching. We're switching gears here, okay? The other night, I'm sitting on the toilet. And, uh, okay? I like it. Let's switch I'm gears. sitting on the toilet. And I just have the light on in my bathroom where the toilet is, not like the main. And I look and I'm like, what is that? I see a shadow walking towards me. It's Lawson. He's like, hey, mom. I'm like, yes. Can you get me a drink? I go, Lawson, I'm sitting on the toilet. Your dad is downstairs watching TV, doing nothing. But you have to come to me and ask me while I'm on the toilet for a drink. Why is that? Why do kids, I can be in the shower. Hey, mom, where's that shirt? I need this or I need help. Jeff could be doing whatever and they leave him alone. Jeff can go down here in the gym and work out and they leave him alone. Layton doesn't bother you. He'll come and he'll say he's working out with you. But with me, if I get in our sauna, they will come down. Hey, mom. I need this or mom, I'm hungry. I'm like, okay, get yourself a snack if you're hungry. Do you see I'm in the sauna? When I get out of the sauna, I will come upstairs and I will make you something. But dads, they just leave you alone. The boys love their mama. They, I'll get it for them if they ask me. They don't though. That's just kids. They do. I do. I do all the time, but they rather I'm not ask saying you. you don't do anything. I'm just saying, why? Why do they come to me first? Same thing like when they're sick. It's comforting. You're comforting to them. Yeah, but I don't want to be comforting all the time. <laughs> I'm like, can I sit on the toilet in peace and not bother? Jeff will in the if you morning. Say toilet one more time. It's toilet. Toilet. Stop. What do you mean stop? I let it go like 10 times. Well, that's how I talk. So <laughs> get over it. And then, oh, and get, wait. While he's judging mom, me. Mom, I need speech therapy. They need to go to you for that. Yeah, well, I talk how my mom talks, and... That doesn't make it right. My mom... Oh! My mom retired today, you guys. Oh, yeah. 30 years at bb and She was there at a branch, at a bank, all that stuff. She is so happy. She said she's selling all her work clothes, and she's like moving to the beach somewhere in South Carolina and she is so happy and um, I'm excited for her. I'm like, finally, you don't have to work a holiday. You don't have to deal with the bank. You don't have to deal with all that. And I told her, I was like, this must make you feel good. She had customers come in. One lady's like, why would you do this to us? And she's like, I gotta go. And then some guy was like, I'm closing all my accounts. I'm going to Wells Fargo if you're leaving. People were bringing her cards in, like her longtime clients. I'm like, that's gonna make you feel good. Yeah, I wonder how long bank tellers have, you know? There's no way they last. No, I mean, you gotta have someone in the bank like to open and close accounts and things like that and help you with certain things, but. My mom said they're on their way out getting rid of tellers and it's just gonna be like an iPad. I mean, and it it's going to be one person in the bank, which I don't like that at all. I like, I don't like dealing with gadgets. I like talking to somebody. I think a lot of older people definitely do too. Well, you know? my mom said the older people, like the old school country people that come in, she said they always bring cash and they're like, we don't trust the banks, <laughs> but we got to put our cash in it. We got to deposit it. And, um, I mean, my mom gets, what's sad is too, she said there's people that tell her her whole life story that maybe own a landscaping company, own a, um, a car business. My mom's had like trouble with her car, but she's like, oh, so-and-so comes in and he's so sweet and he tells my mom to come in and he fits her in or, um, landscaping, you know, people like that. And she says, I've heard all the stories my wife was pregnant and she goes and now the kid's like 10 years old you yeah. know and just growing like customers and she was like i feel like i hear their story some of them sometimes would come in and cry and <laughs> tell my mom everything and that's sweet but yeah, it like is like a town. small town yeah. branch my mom did say so she's in waxhaw north carolina she said they're not opening a restaurant in there because they're trying to take a stand because there's too many people trying to move to Waxall. And they're like, this is not 
This is a small town. This is not a big town. And they won't let these people open up their restaurant because they don't want people coming. Really? Yeah. She goes, and that's another thing. My mom would always hear the gossip and the drama in the town from working at the bank. Oh, well, good for mom. <laughs> so, yeah. So happy about that. And then, um, listen, what's up? What? And then what? I was going to say, take a little break here. Oh, okay. Let's take a little you know break. What? Let's give a shout out to Greats Brooklyn oh, for our new shoes. Oh, just got podcast shoes. Now I do. Yeah. Okay, mine. mine are If you jam. can't see, if you're not watching YouTube, these shoes are a jam. They're called Greats Brooklyn, and I really like them. Lindsay, They're super comfortable. Um, Lindsay was in New York. Not New York. She was in L.A., and she's the one that met the people that do these shoes, and that's how we got them. Yeah, she hooked us up with some shoes, so we're just... Paying it back. And then Lawson's got some that look exactly the same. So I was like, now we can match. And it's like Carolina blue. Okay. Yeah. If uh, if you're just listening, check them out. Greats Brooklyn. And uh, yeah, we'll take a little break. And when we come back, we got a fun little game. Because last week, we talked about how Jordan doesn't know any like movie lines or lyrics to songs. Actually, you're pretty good about lyrics to songs. We're going to stick with movie lines today. So I have 10 movie I'm lines. I'm going to bomb. I have 10 movie lines. And they're really classic movies, very traditional movies. And uh, <laughs> is this going to be multiple choice? No. You have to make it multiple choice because I'm going to bomb this. All right. I don't even watch cable. All right. So stick around. We'll be back in a little bit. Welcome back. Ooh. So, what's this game? So this game, I just, I looked up, I had a couple lines in my head when I started doing this and yeah. I just wanted, you know, that I thought you might get. And then I was like, you know, I'm just going to go for classic. So yeah. the audience will definitely get them. An older audience will definitely get a lot of these. You're not going to get a lot. I, I know I don't, I'm not. I know you're not. I'm not going to get any of these. Uh, so I got 10 of them, I think. One, two, three. Should have done the classic lines from like 1996 on. I know I should. I, you should have thought about the year and how old I was. I know some of these are old, but yeah. they're classic. Okay, and then what I'm supposed to do? Just get. I know if I would have been like lines from "She's All That," you would have got it. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I love those uh, movies. Okay, do you want me to act it out a little bit, or you want me just to say it? Act it out. No, no, I'll just I'll just say it, and then I'll get into it if you don't get it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. We'll just see how it goes. So. Right now, you're batting 100. Okay, here we go. 100? You're batting 1,000. Let's go. You didn't even get that either. Okay, the first one. I must have drank me about 15 Dr. Peppers. Oh, Forrest Gump. There you go. I See? knew that. Yeah, yeah. I started out. That's because I've seen that movie. I know. I, started, I thought I'd start off with that one. Okay, good. You're one for one. Still batting 1,000. How about this one? Husband to a murdered wife, father to a murdered son, and I'll get my vengeance in this life or the next. Gladiator. Nice. Yeah. I'm so happy you got that one. <laughs> I'm so happy you got that one. Because I've heard you say that when you're drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even have to look you it up. I just Mark. wrote I wrote the first two down just by myself. You and Mark, our neighbor, will get drunk and y'all love the gladiator. <laughs> okay. All right. You're not gonna I don't think you're gonna get this one. Okay. But it's famous. My name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I do know this. What? Princess Bride. What? Yes. Another high five. Yes. You're three for three? My dad's brother um, was gay, and he always watched <laughs> movies like this. What do you mean he's gay? What does that have to do with being I don't gay? know, because he always watched, like, Princess Bride and, like, all those other movies and would, like, give it to us to watch. And that's how... Princess Bride is a classic. I, well, I don't know. That's what I remember. <laughs> His brother was gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was fucking hilarious. No, because he would always be like, honey, this is, like, really good. Princess Bride is hilarious. You don't have to be gay to watch Princess Bride. I didn't say so you good. had to be, but... I know, but the fact that, that you threw that in. That's all I thought about, because my dad's brother was very feminine, and, like, he was like, Princess Bride, this is really good, and he gave me the tape to watch when I was a kid. My old glad an ingrown toenail. He gave me Gladiator to watch. <laughs> all right. Okay. I don't know why you needed that detail in there. All right. All right, so, wow, you're three for three. That's really good. All right, you got to get this one. Okay. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. 
Can you give me old school? Old school. Gangster? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. No, it's I don't know if I did that well. You got a hint. Give me a hint. Give me something that maybe will It starts with gone. Gone with the wind. Yeah. Did you know that? No, I didn't know it. You didn't you never heard I've of never that? I've never even watched Gone with the Wind. Oh really? My mom loves Gone with the Wind. But I I've thought never maybe seen it's such it. a classic that you'd know it. No. Okay, that's all right. That's all right. That was a hard one. I now we're getting into some classics. But I am proud that you went three for three already. So you already won in my book. Okay. How about this one? I'm not going to act it. I'm just going to no, say it. it out. You can't handle the truth. What? Hang on. I feel, do it again. Say you it. want me on this wall. You need me on this wall. Ugh. Give me a hint. Well, I don't think you've seen it. Who? Give me an actor that's in it. Tom Cruise is in it. Mission Impossible? He's questioning the person who says this. Jerry Maguire. <laughs> <laughs> no, are you just going to start naming Tom Cruise movies up? Yeah, hang on. Because Jerry Maguire, isn't that like a... No, that's a good one. Um, Top Gun. No. I don't think you've ever seen this movie. A Few Good Men. No. You've never seen it? Mm -mm. It's really good. A Few Good Men. No. Yeah, it's really... It's Jack Nicholson and, and uh, he plays like a... I think he's in the Marines or something and he's a lieutenant and they ordered this cold red and Tom Cruise is a lawyer... And he's oh, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't. It's a great movie. It's a great movie. All right. We'll just keep moving on. You're going to need a bigger boat. Oh. <laughs> get to get a uh, hint. I mean, I think it's pretty self explanatory. Boat, water. Why would they need a bigger boat? You don't need to watch it to get this one. Uh, there's an attraction at Universal Studios about it. Ah, uh, what's at Universal? It's in the water. Sh uh, Jaws. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you got it. You got it. I'll give you that one. All right, pretty good. Pretty good. How would this one? This is classic. And I don't know if you saw this one either. I'm going to make him an offer. <laughs> oh, that was the worst the, thing ever. The, um... The I'm going to make an guy. offer he can't refuse. The gangster guy from yeah. like the 70s, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 70s movie. I don't, um, um, what, what is That it? was terrible acting. What is it called? I'm going to make an offer. I, I got gladiator in my mind. Um, you got I know, G. I know what you're talking about. Um, he's a gangster. Yeah. What is it? Marlon never, Brando. It's like three hour movie. I've never watched it before. There's three of them. Yeah, I've never, um, The Godfather. There you That's go. It. Yes. That's pretty good. That's good. All right, all right. This one you're not going to get. This is old school, though. This is old school. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the work. Sorry, sorry, I screwed that up. Of all the gin joints in all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. I have no idea. I don't idea. think I said that right. I might have said, of all the gin joints in all the towns in all the world, she walks into mine. I have no idea. I didn't say that right, but I just said it wrong without the accent. Casablanca. Oh, I wouldn't. I gave it away that. too fast. So I should have let people try to guess that one. I said it terribly too. So I'll give it, I'll give, I'll give you a. Okay. A race on that. How would this one? Oh, I have, never mind. I have two of the same one. Okay. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Um, it's not ringing a bell. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, can you get hit? I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. Oh, Wizard of Oz. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I think you got it. I sounded like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you got it. Oh, that was oh, pretty you good. You say it like that. I, I don't know. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, my God. That was made me laugh. All right. <laughs> I can't believe you got it. Well, that was reacting to like Big that. Brother when you, <laughs> when you got that answer. The second guy, Big Brother 13, when you just yelled out. Remember? Oh, David Hasselhoff? Yeah, you just yelled out David Hasselhoff, and it was David Hasselhoff. And you were like, that'll be funny. Go in, because I go, Jeff, is it David Hasselhoff? And you were like, 
Wait, I'd let's know. finish on that. That was a good job, by the way. You did really good. But let's finish on that story with David Hesshoff because it kind of reminded me of it. Okay. So we had a, we were, we had you this competition. Set it up because I, will, I don't I will. really remember. So we had this competition on Big Brother 13. That was really funny, by the way. Good job. You did really good. Thanks. So we had this competition on Big Brother 13, and uh, you, ha you had to guess Three the person, things. right? Yeah, you had to guess who the person was. Yeah, I think you had to guess the name. Yeah, because the they were promoting same name. That's right. The new the te television show same name. I don't even know what happened to that. It came out when we were in the Big Brother house. Yeah. And so they they the first clue. So they give us a bunch of clues, and you get three guesses. Each player in the Big Brother house gets three guesses. After three guesses, you can't get any more. So the first our first. Um, was it um, our first opera? clue was opera glasses, uh -huh. right? So it was opera glasses. So everyone's like, "What? I don't know." So we're like, "Let's get the next clue." And it was soap, right? Next one was soap. So then you put together like soap. No, opera. but what was the third one? No, no. So this is where it gets funny. I don't even remember the third one. So this is where it get. This is how I remember it, and I, I don't even know if it went down like this. But you go, oh, you know what? Bay soap. And I'm like, what is bay soap? And you're like, bay soap, the soap, bay soap. I'm like, I've never heard of bay soap. And you're like, bay watch, David Hasselhoff. That's and I was like, right. And I was like, oh my God, that's hilarious. Instead of soap opera, because you somehow thought of bay soap, which I never even knew existed. I don't you're like, even think there's a bay no, soap. No, there's definitely, I there, was. there probably is not. But at the time I'm like, sure. And you're like, David Hasselhoff. I'm like, oh my God, that's so funny. We get three guesses because me and Jordan were teaming up anyway. And I'm like, just go say David Hasselhoff because it'd be funny for the camera. I'm like, just go say that. And she went in there and said David Hasselhoff. And then as it went on, there was like life rafts and all these clues to yeah, Baywatch. Yeah, to Baywatch. But you got Baywatch from, you just made up Bay soap in your but head. But that's, that was just luck. I don't even know. I thought, I really did because I was like, no, there is a Bay soap. And then you were... uh you were like, no. And I go, no, there is. And so instead of soap opera, like what you just said, I was like, Baywatch, David Hasselhoff's the main guy on Baywatch. And he was on a soap opera. So that's why I was like. Hey, I don't know it. how you got it. That's kind of like the Wizard of Oz thing. That would, that's what reminded me. But then David Hasselhoff comes into Big Brother House and we get to watch this show called Same Name with him. And when oh. he pulls, <laughs> this is the best. He pulls into the backyard of the Big Brother House in the kit car, which is that's so cool. Like he pulls in in the kid car, if you remember Knight Rider from back in the day, and he pulls in and he gets out of the car with his leather jacket and he goes, what's up survivors? And they're like, hey Dave, they're like, this, uh, this show is called Big Brother. And they had to, they had to redo it. <laughs> that was the best. Yeah. Then he get in the room, he goes, sorry man, I just got off a plane from Germany, remember? He goes, I've been up all night. Yeah. That was so funny. He thought we were on Survivor. Yeah, it was so funny. Anyways, that was a good. That was a good. Uh, that was a good little ending. Ending. Yeah. We yeah, started yeah. off. We started off pretty more. Started off dark. But that was fun. <laughs> I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. That was fun. Um. All right. We're gonna end on that note. If you celebrate Easter, happy Good Friday today. And I got Jeff a chicken sandwich today, and he can't even have meat on Lent and. I totally messed up on that. But um, thank you for continuing like, to watch. About? I mean, no, it's just random. Um, thank you for con continuing to watch, download, subscribe, tagging your friends. Thank you for the DMs. And I always post the reviews you guys send me. Just the good and ones. No, I haven't. I promise you, I haven't got any bad ones. Now that you said that, now we're going to get bad ones. Well, now you did because... I haven't got any bad ones. Everything is nice. Um, but thank you all for continuing to stick with us and watch. And uh, again, I hope you have a wonderful Easter if you celebrate that. And again, happy Good Friday. <laughs>